Well, as, as long as she's not leaving Christianity. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, who? Wait. Like who? Wait, like who? Wait, who's the who's right the Christianity? Huh? Like who? Yo, Switch, that's not Christian. Yo, watch, watch your mouth, mouth, beloved. Watch your mouth, beloved. Who, 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 who's, who's, who's leaving Christianity? Well, uh, so this video, Ishan and his wife uh, right. say they are no longer Christian. Mm. They no longer identify mm. with the word Christian. Well, they didn't say they didn't. They don't identify with the word Christian. They they literally said they're not Christian. True, mm. and they said and they leave in the faith. That that's, that's they not... said they leave in the faith too, and they said that you 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 worship a pagan god. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have a question real quick. So, because yeah. in the beginning of the video, it was saying right. he's saying I still follow the name of Jesus that is not the European name of Jesus. So I still follow the Yeshua. way. Yeah, Yeshua. 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 I still follow the way, right. but I don't follow European Christianity. I think that's what he said, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So he's he's not denying that that uh uh you know that the Messiah came. He's not denying uh you know the Holy Spirit or anything like that. But yeah. he's saying that those aren't the words that that he that he uses. He uses right. Yeshua Hamashiach, the Holy Ruach. Uh, you know, some of this stuff that we used to with the, you know, the, um, not just Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites, also, you know, Messianic Hebrew roots, uh, different, yeah. you know, Christians that, uh, right. brought this argument up. Um, yeah. so yeah, man, it's pretty interesting. Um, how did you guys feel? Like, what, what, what did you guys feel about this video? Is there anything that ra ra raised red flags for you guys? I got mad questions, man. More, I I feel like that video only. I got. I just got way more questions. Like I don't. I don't know how to feel. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um. So we used to have a team. Um. A bunch of artists on our team, and this actually this topic came up. Um. During one particular year, where a lot of our artists, uh, this team called Destinations. A lot of our artists started um, talking about this. You know, we don't say Jesus anymore. We say Yeshua or Yehoshua. Right. Uh, you know, we we don't say this anymore. We say that. We don't. You know, and it was just this whole big movement on the team. Right. And what it kind of came down to for us and how it kind of got squashed. Well, there was one guy kind of leading the charge, um, and we just had to kind of sit with him and say, "Hey, man, like, are you saying that you don't believe in?" the son of God coming to save us from, from our sins and raising again on the third day and then going to heaven. Right. You believe right. that story, right? right? I do too. So this is almost like a semantics game at this point. You right. That's think, what I thought too. That's what I thought <laughs> you too. may think that, you know, European devils gave us some bad language and blah, blah, blah. Is it the same story? Are we talking about the same person? Yes. Right. Okay. Right. Well, as long as we're on the same page there, the wording and all that, I don't think it's as important as they may think it is. Uh, right. Or even some diehard Christians think it is. Right. What matters is, did that person really exist? His name, Jesus, Yehoshua, Joshua, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> right. That guy existed. That right. guy died for my sins. That's who I'm following. Right. That's, that's, that's all that really matters. Right. So getting bogged down with names and stuff, there may be some truth to the history and all that kind of stuff, but it, it just kind of seems like a tangent, you know, where it says, like, don't don't i'm I'm gonna say it in my own words the bible says like don't fuss about stuff that don't matter right that's kind of what it kind of feels like to me so that's how we kind of squashed it because it was like why are we this is irrelevant right right but yeah. i i think the difference here is that he said him and his wife literally said like that we're worshiping a pagan god and that mm -hmm. that's not his real name and that's not true christianity you know right. and and uh his wife even made reference to uh the ruach or, or you know the holy spirit uh <clears throat> told her that she was idolizing scripture you know and then they went on you know on another tangent about how uh the bible is unreliable or king i'm sorry king james you know is unreliable Translation. And, right right is, and you know the septuagint and all that that they changed words to to appease the king and whatnot mm -hmm. um and so that's what that's where like because i agree with you 100 percent with all of that like all right you want to call him yeshua fine you know what i mean like you know, if 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 you in Latin America and your name is Jose and you come here to this country, your name is Joe. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, yeah. like you still yeah. the same dude and you're going to answer to both. You know what I mean? And yeah. we, we're talking about a living God. You know, I don't think I don't think that, you know, a living God is 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 
not going to answer to an English name versus a Hebrew name or a Greek name. You know, mm -hmm. that's just right. that's you know, that, that's yeah. just how I feel about God. You know what I mean? I think he's much bigger than that. But um, the fact that they made that distinction and they made numerous, um, you know, they, they just made numerous statements uh, uh, about the veracity of scripture and stuff like that. I'm just it was kind of like it was concerning to me. And like I said, it, it just I just have way more questions you know, <laughs> for, for right. him and right. them, you know, because they, they just they said so much in that one hour. Uh, mm -hmm. video that i was just like i mean i i get what you're saying with the with the with the with the with the um uh pagan traditions right um scripture does talk about you know arguing about the sabbath um you know in in and he they were talking about the clothing uh they were talking about christmas tree and the easter bunny like i get all that you know what i mean i get it i i agree like i've never had a christmas tree like in in 21 years that, that i've been a christian i've never had a christmas tree you know wow, what i'm saying so I, I i i get it and i feel you <laughs> you know what i'm saying i get it and i feel you but like what what pastor right because 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 he said he said all the pastors were were were, were uh he said they were masons did he say they were masons yeah, something like that. He said they were Mason. Far. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, I got like 45 minutes in. Yeah, I got 45 lot, minutes it's in. It's a lot of stuff in there. I bro, I was in 45 far, minutes, and, and then they started talking, okay, we're not going to talk about religion. You know, we're going to move on to music. And then that's when I was like, all right, I'm out. I spent 45 minutes on this joint. But, um, you know, it, it was it's, it's just a, it's just a lot, man. It's just a lot. And it's just a, I just got way more questions. And so so he said he said that – um that the people in the pulpit were like masons right and it's like well who like who are you talking about you know what i'm saying like who who is pushing this whitewashing of european christianity like i would love to know because if we're talking about uh uh, uh johnny mack are we talking about td jakes like who's pushing this right yeah. like you've been in the game for 10 years uh, over 10 years you know what i'm saying like like let's call some names out if because then because if you have this revelation right this is the truth that you've been holding on to for so long and you know and, and you've kind of been letting out slowly i think his wife used the words like drip slowly or whatever um then enlighten us right who are these pastors that that, that, that are are uh are whitewashing christianity you know yeah. because you should be warning us right if, yeah. if 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 we believe something false if, if we're if we're worshiping a pagan god then i feel like i want to know you know what i mean like who who are the people who are who are who is leading the flock astray which pastors are part of the you know the uh, freemasons you know which yeah. chh artists are are which chh artists are, are are pushing this this whitewashing you know like yeah those are legitimate I mean, questions you know what i'm saying like dude dude's been on tour i met him on tour with with gom you know what i'm saying so like yeah was gom whitewashing you know what i'm saying uh uh, uh christianity like yeah. these are serious questions you know what i'm saying like yeah and, yeah i i think one of the things man like um when i when i saw that i didn't see yeah. all of it like i didn't watch all of it right um I, i'll be real with y'all like i felt like a gut punch you know what i'm saying and yeah. not like on no idolize nothing but just on somebody that i respect like i respect you oh, for Bergen, sure man. you know what i'm saying for like sure. especially in these times when it comes to christian hip-hop like i respect his pen I respect him as a person. Yo, I respect his I, knowledge I agree and stuff with you like 100%. that. Hundred percent. He's my yeah. favorite CHH artist. Yeah, like so, ever, hands down. Yeah, so I respect that about him as a person. Right. So when I saw that, I'm like, and I and I think the reason why I felt that way is because, like Sean said, um, we we grew up in a uh, a show called Destinations, and yeah, and the thing is, we've had artists like now that I can speak about now that yeah. have the same situation. It was like Jesus first. And then all of a sudden it's it's Yahshua, like you said. And then it goes right. from that down to like um I don't know if all everything in the Bible is a hundred percent accurate. You know what I mean? Right. And then it goes from that to um white man's it goes to <laughs> white black man's God, we're the chosen people, and then it goes from that to I'm praying to my ancestors. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> right. and right. my fear for him is, and like I said, I don't know Eshawn Burgundy personally, right. I don't have his number. Right. I'm right. praying for him, but I'll Absolutely. say my prayer for him is is that that rabbit hole will stop where he is, right. because if it keeps going, it's going to take him in somewhere where where years later we're going to be like, man, what happened to Esha? Yeah. 
Right. And that's and I, my art, honestly, just being real. And I also yeah. think that um, sometimes people think that we as Christians aren't don't educate ourselves on our history or um, our roots or the traditions and stuff like that. Um, you know, when they were talking about, you know, translations and things like that, I was like, I kind of, I kind of wasn't feeling that because I'm like, right, it's kind of hmm. a weak argument, man. That's it is like- a weak argument. At the end of the day, we have, if you go on Bible Hub or you go on these apps, right. they have tons of translations, and those translations aren't translated from English. They're translated from Greek, and uh, you know whatever they have of like Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? Like Septuagint, the 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 Dead Sea uh, Dead Sea Scrolls, and right, all those right. things. You know what I mean? When Paul wrote his letters, he wrote them to an audi- audience that spoke Greek. You know what I mean? Let's they go. They all didn't speak Hebrew. These were Gentiles. Mm-hmm. So, you know, these writings are liesus, right? Which is, you know, if you translate it in English, and the, uh, everybody wants to talk about it, should be a Y, and you know. It should mm-hmm. be really Yeshua, uh, Yashua, um, yeah. but you know he got translated with the J, and now it's Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, I think Kyle Manning just said something good. Um, when we first got saved, mm-hmm. right? And I would like to ask them that: when you first got that. saved, who did you get saved under? Was it Yeshua Hamashiach, or was it under Jesus Christ? Because I know that I was filled with the Spirit. You know what I mean? And I am filled with the Spirit under yeah. the name of Jesus. Now right. I've been through this th- this thing, this rabbit hole before, even myself with the names, because there's so much information out there um, that kind of uh, that we can obtain. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, being in this age of information, so right. I get it. Like I know, like if you want to call him that now because you feel like it's more reverence, that's fine. I'm not saying absolutely. That's not a yeah, I agree. That's mm-hmm. no problem with me. If you believe, if you believe that that's the name you want to call the Messiah. And, you know, that gets you closer to what he believes is his roots. And that's cool. Like, I have no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to talk about paganism? Like Jimmy said, we could talk about that. We could talk about the Easter Bunny. We could talk about the Sabbath. You know what I mean? Right. Of keeping the Sabbath. All those things. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like, don't come at us like, well, we, y'all, y'all just not educated. Y'all don't, you know what I mean? Y'all just, fo- y'all just blindly fa- um, following a false doctrine or, or doctrines of men or, Right, God, right. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Ex- and, and, and that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Is like who, like who is teaching this, right? Because, like, I don't know any of any pastors, right? That that we all like, and and, and I mean like names that we know and that we recognize. Like, I don't know any one of them, like, because he also said, I don't know, I don't remember if it was him or his wife, but he said that there was an idolatry of pastors and these pastors want you to sit at their feet and they don't want you to read the bible who you know what i mean like who well like, there are there are some Sean, that fit Sean the got some. <laughs> <laughs> there are some that fit the first half of that i don't know if they don't right. want you to read the bible but there are some that we run across that do want you to worship them right but that's a whole right. nother problem i don't think right. that's related to this problem well um, I, do, I well i do think so sean i'll say a little bit so. of it because and the reason why I say that is because when he talked about it, he's like, we came out of a church and it was bad and that, that, like in the beginning of it, I think his wife says something like that when he, she starts talking about church hurt a right. little bit. So yeah, I don't yeah. know if that's the whole picture of this thing or it's just that was part of their story. So that, that, that initiated the look. And we, we've seen so. that people from we had a yeah. bad church situation and there were people who left that church and got into this specific way of thought. Yeah. They had Bible mm. studies and they they just kind of got deeper and deeper into it and they they adopted this way of thought. So right. church hurt does cause you to start looking around more than you would. Yeah. Which is right. not bad. It's just without any yeah. kind of guidance, guidance, you may start stumbling into some dumb stuff. But Right, right. Now has has now I'll say this to their point. Has the church accepted uh a lot of uh paganism right we got the <clears throat> the images of caesar uh what's his i forgot his last Borgia. name Borgia. We, yeah we have caesar him Borgia. as our we have him yeah. as a joke as as our um, logo actually um, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah the guy with the thumbs up like 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's not Christian. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But, that's exactly why know, we got it on there. <laughs> is it, have we as a church, right? Have we ever started to really consider like some of the things that we are being taught? Like, are we on some just accept everything because, you know, the culture that we in, the American westernized culture or, uh, you know what I mean? Are we just or, or, or are we just following blindly? You know what I mean? I'm and I'm I'm not and I know it's kind of <clears throat> going back to what I was saying earlier, saying that we wasn't, but is it true in some sense that some of what we've adopted like these pagan traditions um in time, like you know what I mean, throughout history? Well yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, well, yeah, I'll I'll say this. I think about Christmas, for example, like people always say, of course, the trees, the gifts, all the stuff is paganism. And, and what happened was that, you know, the church at that time was just like, you know, let's let's put something out there so it could combat whatever um, idol idol worship or whatever. Right, it was almost right. it was almost like what people say about hip hop, Christian hip hop, like the people who say they're anti Christian hip hop is like y'all just just massing hip hop and didn't put Christian on it. You know what I mean? Right. And right. but if you really think about it, it's like but at the same time, we're celebrating our savior. We're celebrating right. our savior and we're giving gifts. We're giving gifts to each other. Right. Kind of like they gave to the Lord. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, we're, and we're not saying we're Jesus or we're God, but we're just celebrating that. And that celebration of him coming and his birthday. This is what, you know, these gifts supposed to mean, honestly. You know what I mean? Right. But I don't I don't see nothing wrong with that. If you want to celebrate it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I go back and forth. if you have a Christmas tree in your house, I don't look at you less than you're, right. you're not saved or not. You know what I mean? I think everything is fruit for me. Like I'm, right. I look at people's hearts. I look at where they are. And sometimes at the same time, some things may be like, man, you you um you have to grow. You know what I mean? Some people have to grow in certain areas and certain certain things. Um, but to 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 me, everything in America is really paganism. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like. I mean, it's a lot of stuff right. that we do every day that if you found the origins of it, you'd be like, wow, I can't right. do that. I can't do right. that. I can't do Nike, that. You Nike. I mean? Nike is a Greek god. No. <laughs> Adidas is a Greek god. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's like, okay, are these things... Yo, um, anybody know what size um, Ishan wears? Because I might DM him and ask him if I could get his, his Jordans. <laughs> so they're gonna be like, no, my brother. <laughs> you get your own. <laughs> and that and that's the thing, like just because something may originate, right? It doesn't come directly from the Bible, right? I'm sure those dashikis don't come from the Bible neither, but um <laughs> <laughs> you know, Yo, you know what? It's it's funny, man. it's funny you say that because that, that's actually that actually <laughs> comes that actually comes from um Western Western Africa. Uh it's a Yoruba word. Mm -hmm. And and when you when you look at when you look at you know the the region of like Egypt and Ethiopia, you know what I'm saying, and, and Israel and all that, like they dress way differently than people on the West. You know yeah, what I'm man. saying? Like they just have a completely different style swag to them. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but they would say so that, that that was that was an incursion though. They would say that um, people from Mid Asia, you know, um, uh, people who are Arabic, you know have yeah. incurred into africa so mm. you know they've taken over northeastern africa so they would say that that's not the original people from that area because mm. if you go if you go to egypt now it it doesn't it doesn't look necessarily african you know what i mean it, it feels more like um middle east so sure that, i think that's sure. the argument. sure yeah 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 no and, and 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 i get that too but that's 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 when you do when you look into the history that's been going on in that region forever since you know For the ottoman time. empire yeah. yeah you know what i mean like uh uh when when the moors would go into spain and and and, and into italy and whatnot you know what i mean and the back and forth between that like I, I i totally get that um but like you know switch was saying like that's not i i don't i don't think that's hebrew dress according to to to, to you know what you see was was in that region when you look back at, at how how people dress and whatnot it, in the it, yorubas are nigerian which was more so of a, a mali empire you know yeah. and so they just they dress way different you know what i mean and that's why that's why you see a lot of a lot of those uh the shikis come with uh uh kufis too yeah because it, it's part of that you know that that whole mali empire and we know that they were mainly Muslims. You know, the majority were Muslims. So my, my point is that does everything that's 
I, I don't think that everything that's pagan, like you have a wedding ring, right? Like that's supposedly the history right. stems back to some kind of paganism, right? Does everything that's pagan mean that it's anti-God? You know what I'm saying? Because that's more my concern. The scripture speak against certain things that are like, yo, this is idolatry and this is anti-God. And now you're worshiping another God. You know what I mean? So right. that's more my concern because you living in this world you know you don't know who developed the con it's like back in the days when paul was speaking about people who were worshiping idols you know what i'm saying and even though those idols weren't anything you know what i mean it would depend on the person's heart and and you know what i'm saying don't sacrifice food to idols right but some individuals were free from that they 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 had enough faith to know this ain't really a god you know what i'm saying so right. in the same context in our culture now there may be things that are pagan but to us, it has no effect because we don't look at it that way. You know what I'm saying? We don't idolize it that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I think that's uh, that that is a very good thing. Like, and I, and that's what I just said about everything we do in America has a, a ritual back to paganism, and I think that's one of those things where it's like, do we do we so do we do that? Do we you know what I'm saying? Do we just like stop doing everything figure out what's biblical and just right. do that and in in our everyday walk of life i'm not talking about like enjoyment i'm not talking about like like um entertainment everything. or anything i'm talking about your whole life like if you if you're talking about what you eating if we right. talking about um your clothes no bible apps clothes, no bible apps you right you gotta, yeah. you gotta read lambskins yeah and the <laughs> internet the, you know what i'm saying like a lot of stuff that we do right. That God is like, I don't have a problem with you doing that. Like that's that that doesn't you're you're using that for my glory. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. You know what I mean, because if that. that's the case, then people. I mean, I, I watch different people from back in the day, even to now. That's still like, yo, hip hop is the devil. Why y'all doing this Christian hip hop thing? Yeah, you know no, what I'm saying. True. That's true. So it's that like, how you can't you can't you can't say you can't be like this one is this and no that's good and that's bad when if somebody else is like no what you're doing is bad. And that's bad. So you need to just get before the Lord, and that's it. And it's like, yeah. certain. Like I said, I'm not talking about just entertainment. I just use that as an example. Right. But I'm right. saying in general, like everyday life. If we walk somewhere, if you literally took a walk and and looked at life and looked at what's around you and be like, God, is that from you? And then you're like, Nope. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. What, did you like like would you eat seedlets? If grapes wasn't grown, they were they were not seed, they were not no seeds and no grapes, they were artificial grapes. Would right. you still eat hey, those listen, if they're not I, real grapes? You know yo, what I mean? Like, GMO's a pagan. GMO's a pagan, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. I, I want I want those seedless grapes, man. I don't like <laughs> how they pig it. I don't mess with no GMOs, dog. Yeah. 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 grapes, dude. Yeah. I ain't gonna front. I stopped spitting out seeds, and I love <laughs> seedless grapes. Yeah. You can't even find uh, grapes with seeds now. Yeah. You sure can. So I think I think we got a lot of questions. I think we, we we're gonna see as their journey continues to grow. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. I like like just like um Jimmy. I like Eshawn like. I've always he always seemed like a very humble dude. He is, um, man. In person, he's 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 a solid dude, man. Super nice with the mic, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so as they're going through their journey, I'm I'm cool with it, you know what I'm saying? I just don't bash us because we still call the name of the Messiah, Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and also, you know, as far as um the only red flag I had was like when they started talking about the translations and how you need the Holy Spirit right. mm -hmm. in order to for him to really reveal what the translation really means and you need to do all this research because you go on bible hub there's so many different like i said translations, translations. yo and your man said <laughs> and this is said you he said you got to do your research and then he references a a, a video on 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 the whole you know what i'm saying yeah, it's not like he he actually though. right right a documentary like yeah Bro, and like and like Q, people went on people got documentaries for all kinds of stuff I, bro I, I like, get it, like, like, like like people who want to talk about the apographer and you know what I mean scriptures right. that are referenced from well that's why they said they read the 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 Sifa. the Sifa, right I mean I got an apographer um in my in in my I got one too I got a Tanakh well. yeah you know what I'm saying like and that's my thing like we ain't just like newcomers and just be right. like oh yeah we don't oh we don't know about like nah we know like we know we up on this stuff like we know about the apographer right. we know about Caesar we know about this stuff. 
I have a question my, for you guys. My Go only, my only thing would be, and and, and be, before you get your um your question in, yeah, it's just when they talk about you know the Holy Spirit leading them. I've seen Hebrews that deny the virgin birth. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I've seen Hebrews that start to deny that Christ was hung on a cross and that he was actually hung on a tree because of verses that they read right. and it doesn't fit their translations or whatever it may be. So and I, that, I think that's why that's why they distanced themselves from Hebrew Israelites. Mm. I, yeah. I think that's why they did that too, because that you really don't know when it comes to like Hebrew Israel. Every he Hebrew Israelite is different depending on what There's camp you're in. There's right. Them, yeah. Different like sites. Everyone yeah. that yeah, exactly. Everyone that you encounter is you got to go through. What is? What do you believe this? What does this mean? You know, when you say this, what does that mean? You know, yeah, it's like yeah. you got to qualify all kinds. But I'm sorry, you 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 had a question, Jeremiah. I, 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 yeah, I have a question, and um, I hope this doesn't sound crazy, but it's just a question for you guys. Do um, like we say, Hebrew Israelites, is there anything in in y'all in y'all culture in in the Latin culture that's like our people are the original people type? Religion, or is it no like only, Hebrew Israelites or y'all? Only from Hebrew Israelites out okay. here. I, well, I'm in New York, yeah. so you know we we supposedly from the tribe of the Puerto Ricans are from the tribe of Ephraim, um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's no like there's no historical anything that that shows that. Now I get it, like you have the Northern and the Southern Kingdom, and yeah. you know that whole divide, and they say that you know. That's how uh, all the Native Americans ended up on this side. And originally they were Hebrew. They were part of the 10 tribes. Um, so, you know, I hear all these things, but I don't I can't affirm that. I can't say, yo, I'm a Hebrew for real. Some of them, some of them don't even give you all that. They were like, no, nope, <laughs> not even not even them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Light skin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some like, of, yeah. That you eat them like. No, but the reason why the reason I ask that is because there there is so many like stuff coming up for African Americans to like like getting them out of the church because adoptions yeah. is making them feel special and feel good. Like we we had um, so it's like a an, uh, it's an yeah. identity thing, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and and, and yeah. we had we had um uh, a good friend of ours and Sean's pastor on our show, and we start when we talked about the Black Panther and how in Black Panther they started talking about um, comedic science and stuff like that. So I was mm -hmm. just intrigued that is if, is there any like religions that um, like that try to pull Latinos away from the church as well? That's just yeah, just I just a Hebrew. I, I think I think no no for Latinos. I think I think one of the main things probably would would be uh, the witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Santeria. Santeria. Mm -hmm. Santeria. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. yeah oh yeah I yeah because yeah, 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 yeah. that one because 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 that's like socially acceptable like you could be a christian right but you're still in touch with your 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 native roots whatever that is right, right. Mm. from whatever country you're in yeah see why mm. p said the same YP. thing YP. Um, What's up, sir? so so, so that, that that's 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 one of the main ones you know and and it's so deceiving because it uses a lot of um it uses a lot of uh, Christian references. Got you. Know? you. Um, With the candles so, oh, yeah, and they stuff use the like that. Yeah, they use the Bible. Okay. Yeah, saints. You know what I mean? So you could yeah. you could pray to a saint to protect you. You know, it, it's Saint Mark. The what do you God, mean? That's yeah. Christian. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that wow. that that type of thing. You know? Yeah, they wow. use the Bible. The sacrifices too in the Torah. Like you know, when they spread blood and you know, right. uh, Moses had them. Uh, what was it? The bulls. Like you know, he had yeah. sp spattered blood all over them. So they used that as a as a thing. Yeah, same thing from my, my family on um, Jamaica, the Rastas. That's like the other half of the country. Yeah. Half is Christian, half is, is um Rastafarian. So that's that's kind of the battle there. And I think I think what this gets down to, all of this is um worthy of being talked about, like what Ishan is bringing up. And I think right. for a while, uh, up until recently, the American church has, has been a comfort because all these people kind of believe the same thing. All these people seem to right. agree. So right. it gives you comfort to say, well, I must I'm, I must have it right because look at all these other people. I think where we're getting to now has been splintered so much that now people are starting to question, like, if these people, if, if these people that I deem as racist now taught me all of this, maybe they right. taught me something wrong. So they're starting to yeah. search. Yeah. And that's where these kind of doctrines come in. It's worth talking about because, yeah, there are some things that we have been derived from pagan. But that's why I always get down to the at the end of the day is, do you believe the son of God came to save your soul? Right. Do you believe that that person is God? 
That's right. that's what we believe. If we agree on that, we're good. We could talk about right. everything else for the rest of the time. But right. Let's let's just start there. That that was a real person that came to earth to die for your sins. Yeah. Who, whatever you want to call him. Are we talking about that dude? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. Stuff. Yeah, that's good stuff. The character, Absolutely. right? The character of Jesus, the character of God, right? So yeah, that's important. And and even with the translations thing, like does the overall message the same? You know what I'm saying? The death, the resurrection, sin entering the world, is that all the same? Um, so yeah, man. I I I let's, let's just keep them in prayer, man. You know what I'm saying? And this isn't to judge them. This is just us defending, like, yo, right. Don't just be throwing the baby with the bathwater, you know what I'm saying? Like saying, <laughs> oh, well, Christianity in general. And yeah. I know that it was a, you know, people consider that as a derogatory term, you know, yeah. during that time where it was like Christians were seen that way. But, you know, the Christians did accept that, you know what I mean? Like through right. the history and even the church fathers, they accepted that as a term. Like they even, it was like glorified, like, yeah, we, we, we Christians, you know what I'm saying? Because it was a, it was a, it was a word that was used to persecute them. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, right. Yeah. You, know, I, you know what? I think sometimes people get so um, deep into their studies, right? Where they let they let the the studies take over rather than the spirit. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. go, they get so far down that hole that now it's it's, it's a project rather than spirit building. Yeah, yeah, right. and then, and then also I think we're in the era of you got to test that spirit. You know what I'm saying? I remember um, right. in the scriptures talk about like you know test based off the word of God, test the spirit mm -hmm. that you're hearing from. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Because the, what you're hearing from could sound great, and you know what I'm saying. And I and 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 one of the things I I'll say this real quick is, um, thinking about people who are in the boat as Eshawn. And sometimes it like like we talked about earlier was church hurt, but then also the whole the whole um, civil rights thing going on in America, the whole right. cops and African Americans, and right. that's a thing that a lot of black people after that situation. And you saw your white brothers and sisters like, yo, he he did wrong. He should have the, the cops were right, and it's like no, and y'all still not getting this. And you start and that and that's a lot. That's a lot on right. a lot of people. Right. You know I mean, I've yeah. I've seen. Um, um, I watched the ambassador and Tonic had a um, a podcast that they had, and they was talking about it. And the Tonic was like, "Yo, it was a lot on me. Like I felt that. Like it was it was getting a lot. Like these cops was like killing black men, and I was just like, "Yo, I, I'm feeling this. Like I don't know what. Like God, what's going on? You know what I mean? So if if you have those type of um, those moments." And people are not answering, or they're saying stuff more racial stuff, and like just get over it. It's like no, it's like you should be, you should be on my side to say, hey, that's an injustice. Let's talk about it. Let's let's um let's keep keep these cops accountable. Let's get a conviction. You know what right. I'm saying? Let's let's get some of these things. And um, a lot of us wasn't seeing that. So that's another thing that's like, man, like Sean said earlier, like. These people I'm learning from, I'm learning from all these people. I'm reading their books. I'm, right. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm embra embracing their theology. But when it comes to civil rights, they look at it like, well, he's a criminal. He should have died. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Right. And I think, right. and I, and that's just one of those things where a lot of black people were like, I can't do this church thing no more. I, I'm good. So what else yeah. is out there? So right. at the same time, when that happens, um, at the same time, Black Panther happens. So Black Panther is a fictional character, but at the same time, it looks good. It looks appealing. It looks right. like pride. The timing like, was yeah. impeccable. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was. It was great. Yeah. So now you're starting to see people like, all right, what is about praying to my ancestors? What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, and then also another thing too is some of the people that was leading these things were like that. We're like, yo, we mm -hmm. pray to our ancestors. You know what I'm saying? We 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 get back to our original our original um, religion and in in africa so right. that's what we need to get back to because this that christianity stuff it's it's pagan it's 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 the white man's religion you get what right. i'm saying yeah. right. so right. now it's like you caught in a crossfire because as a believer you're like man what they're saying it's itching my it, it's itching my ear but on the on the other side is um i still believe i've seen jesus do too much stuff in my life but this mm -hmm. is my brothers and sisters are saying that 
they're not feeling what I'm feeling and they're not trying to feel it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right, right. So it was just a catch 22, what a lot of people have dealt with in the 2010s, I would say, dealing with Christianity and African Americans dealing with Christianity in the 2010s. And if you're going, and another thing too, real quick, if you wasn't going to a church that's not theology strong or a church that's like, let me show you where, like, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know, you was like a win, like somebody in the wind going from there to there. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Yo, yo, uh, Sean, you, you mentioned you mentioned that um, your family's from Jamaica. Um, we 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 got a friend named Riggs, and he he mentioned that he noticed that a lot of uh, American uh, American blacks struggle with identity more than people who like are like first generation here because they might be yeah. from you know Barbados or Jamaica or wherever out trended you know what I mean like yeah is is that something that you've experienced or you noticed um uh yeah I have um it, it I think it does help ground you to know okay my people are from even though you know they were right. slaves too right like right. we just got dropped off first you know what I mean that's all right. that's all that happened <laughs> but but dropped there is early. a <laughs> yeah, there there is a land that um you can say is yours, you know, where right. if you look at uh Jamaican population is predominantly black. Um there's people from all races there, but it's for yeah. I think even the um the prime minister, somebody is, is part Chinese, but yeah, um there there's all races there, but it's predominantly black. So it looks like okay, that's my home. At least I know where my home is. That right. that gives you a little bit of a sense of pride because when you get here. Uh, especially if you're you're a truly an immigrant. I was born here, but if you're truly an immigrant, yeah. you face you face the same prejudice that African Americans face, but you also face the pre prejudice of having an accent from everybody. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. So you kind of gang together and say, "Well, my people are back there. I'm just a visitor." Right. You know? So it does help with identity. There's some other challenges that come with it, but mm -hmm. having having some sort of "I know where I'm from" does help with feeling like you're you're centered you're grounded yeah and that's what yeah. a lot of people are struggling with not people kind of, you could do your ancestry or whatever and say you know i'm west african nigerian ghana whatever right but you don't know you know and you don't know anybody from there i know people from jamaica you know i know other right, jamaican right. people like i there's there's some sort of a connection mm -hmm. so yeah I, I do think that factors in a little bit that's yeah I, I thought that was interesting when he said that uh, something you said too about uh, immigrants like you know Jamaicans or whatnot. I've I experienced that in the in the Latino community because my family's from El Salvador and California is like primarily Mexican, right? So we talk Spanish way different, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was like bullying and fights and everything else, you know. And this is this is just like me speaking English, you know what I mean? But when the times that I had to speak Spanish, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was like it 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 was it was all all of that all of that um um pushback and stuff like that so it's interesting that you say that about you know uh, being an immigrant you know not that you are but you know what i'm saying just mm -hmm. people who come here and yes yeah, it's, it's it there's a lot of conversations that people don't really know like there there's there's inner conflict with africans and right african oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. there's inner yeah, conflict yeah, yeah. with african americans and 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 um uh people from the caribbean like there's all kind of inner conflict yeah. that you know that that conversation hasn't really been had yet we just talk about it as a global black you know what i mean right 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 right. but we don't get into the weeds and talk about like my mom having to be not just black not just a woman but also an immigrant that's a whole nother yeah. thing you right, know what i mean that's right, a whole right, nother right. layer to it that's good stuff man yeah and you know cool. um you know like i said this isn't just hebrew israelism uh hebrew israelites it's also uh you know the hebrew um what do you call that hebrew roots movement messianic christians you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and this argument has been going on for years you know what i'm saying like we've <clears throat> we've kind of seen um this thing where it's like the law uh the you know the torah right and for as much as we know it's holy and you know what i mean it blesses right. the families and we know that it's good um people have tried to like emphasize put an emphasis on the law you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that was something that even Peter and Paul kind of had the little, yeah. right? The little uh, disagreement with, where, well, not disagreement, but Paul uh, rebuked Peter because he's like, yo, when you with the Jews, you know what I mean? And the Gentiles around, you want right, some, right? <laughs> you want some, let me back off because you know the Gentiles and you know what I'm saying? And he rebuked him. He's like, yo, like these are, these are, these are our people in faith as well. You know what I mean? Through, through through faith, through faith in Jesus Christ, you know what I mean? Right. Not through the law, 
through faith in Jesus Christ. Exactly. You know I mean? so, yeah. I think we still kind of dealing with that today in, in this age. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. ain't even believe that Paul, they believe that Paul was trying to get rid of the law. You know what I'm saying? That's why he took the Nazarite vow and acts. You know what I'm saying? Where they were like, oh, should the Gentiles do the, yeah, exactly. Acts 15, where should the, uh, the Gentiles keep the law? And they were like, yo, we're not requiring them to keep the whole full right. law of Moses. This is what they need to do. You know what I mean? And they, I think they describe like three things, you know, sexual morality, uh, food with blood and mm -hmm. idolatry or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, you know, um, um, Ishan and his wife did address that. They said that they they weren't under the law, but they felt that the law was liberating, you know, yeah. to 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 practice it. So um, I, I thought that was interesting because, uh, you know, they, they made an emphasis, you know, they made it a point. To say that they're not under the law, you know, so um, that which was encouraging to me, you know, what I mean, because they still believe that we're saved by grace. You know, that's right. that's the impression that I got, at least. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, man. let's see, man, how this journey goes, goes down, man. Yeah, man, we definitely got to continue to keep them in prayer, you know, yeah. um, because I think this is this definitely is a journey for them. I think that they, they've been exposed to a lot of new information. Right. Yeah. Um, some things that maybe uh, they hadn't heard before or been exposed to. Um, and so, you know, let's, let's just keep them in prayer. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but definitely Shabbat Shalom, you heard? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>